three myths of why I did not want to become a real estate agent. Hey, my name is Brandon Yeager, owner of House Rock Realty. And if you have not done so already, please hit the subscribe button if you are on YouTube. Also, give me a thumbs up. It'll allow this video to be reached by more people just like you. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you three myths of why I didn't really want to become a real estate agent, even though I was already an investor and I was licensed, but I was not doing any real estate agent activities. Let's go ahead and dive into it. So truth be told, I told you this is three myths. The first myth is it, it in itself is a myth. There's only two of them that I could come up with, but three sounded like a better odd number to use for the title of this video. I know I apologize, but reason number two, uh, it is legit. And that is because I felt I did not want to take buyers around in my car. My, my traditional view of what a real estate agent did was they took people around in their cars and showed them properties all day long. And I, I, and I knew in my head that that is not what I wanted to do all day long. Uh, the fact of the matter is, is you, you can have the people meet at the properties with you. As a matter of fact, that might even make them more comfortable. Uh, but you can also do something called hiring people to do the work for you. In that sense, you can hire showing agents, you can hire other buyers agents, and you can build out a team in that regard. But myth number three is really the big one. I, I, I do not like to do paperwork. It's one of my biggest pet peeves. And, and all I could sit there was th thinking about is I don't want to be sitting there writing up contracts and offers all day long and, and filling out tons and tons of paperwork for people. It was very painful to think about doing that for me uh, until I discovered that I could actually have admin assistants doing a lot of that the heavy work, 95% of it for me. And it just might be a case where I just need to review the paperwork. I teach them how to do it properly. Uh, they complete the paperwork, they give it to me for review, and then we, and then they do the electronic signatures and getting it all signed. And it made my life so much better. So then I went from becoming an, an investor who had my real estate license strictly for investing purposes to being able to become an agent and you and bring in this additional income stream uh allowing other people to do the things that they're not my favorite i was not passionate about doing them and then to the third stage where i ended up just deciding you know what i'm just going to get my own broker's license and still be able to continue to grow that out and that's kind of where i'm at today with everything all right so i hope you enjoyed the video and if you've been thinking about getting your real estate license just know there might be parts of your business that you don't like to do, or maybe there's parts of your business that you realize and you're willing to accept that you're not that great at. And if you are willing to let go of those items and pay other people to help you help them, then you will be, be able to still accomplish your goals and, and make really good income doing those types of things without having to go through the pain of doing the things that you really don't like to do or you know you don't want to do. All right, guys, this is Brandon Yeager. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks a lot, and we'll talk to you in the next video.